most people are making on most social media platforms, but it is especially important on LinkedIn. And that is not establishing your goal, all right? So let's take a look at this. <clears throat> Just like when you are, um, uh, you need to know your target market, right, for your branding and, and, and what social media platform you should be on, for this, you need to know what your goal is for LinkedIn. Uh, so do you want to use it to get clients, brand position, get speaking gigs, get a job, hire employees, or research, all right? Now, these can overlap, okay? So you need, though, to establish a main driver. For example, everything you do needs to be from a perspective of brand positioning. You want, you know, a branded banner. Um, you want to carry colors through uh, your site. But more importantly is um, the next one that you pick. Are you using it to get clients? Are you using it to get speaking gigs? Um, those are the, or are you using it to get a job? Those three key indicators are, are going to determine the keywords that you put, the copy that you put, the layout, the structure, the words you emphasize, everything comes from each of those specific goals, okay? Um, and then, of course, at the same time, you can use it to hire employees, but if you are doing that, then you better be positioned in a way that you're attractive to employees, right? Especially if you have your uh, a business uh, thing a business uh, version of it. And if you're using it to use do research, this is a smoking hot research tool um, and, and a very important one. I, I probably am gonna mention it later, but um, <clears throat> the bottom line is this is a monster search engine. This was uh, what it was built for, okay? Now, the reason you need to specifically know this is for two, uh, two key reasons. And that is the first, there it is. <laughs> uh, I keep hitting the links that I have in here. The first is that um, LinkedIn is, a, is a, a search engine, okay? Uh, it was actually built for human resource departments and it is incredibly powerful. So the approach you need to take is based on keywords. Those are your key to success on this platform. It's your key to success to being found. Um, so search engine optimization of everything is critical. That means you need to know your keywords. That means you need to know your target market and the goal that you have because everything links back to that. The second is it will help you plan your content um, uh, and, and what it is that you want to feature. Each of those goals would actually require a different content approach, which is why it's important that you know what your goal is. Okay, so here's what we want, right? We want to reach all-star status, okay? So um, a, you actually get a little indicator on your account when you're at the all-star status. And uh, so what we're going to do today is take a look at the seven main steps to reach all-star status with LinkedIn. And they're gonna sound pretty darn simple. And it's why most people skip it. They're like, use a professional photo. Yeah, all right, fine. Headwords, key, headlines, keywords, and details matter. Um, they matter. The thing that they don't tell you is what matters is the search engine optimization of that, which means you research the keywords and things that you're saying so that they're optimized not only within the platform, which is its own search engine, but if you're doing articles outside of the platform for Google. They're not really, I mean, do, do, should the headline pop? Absolutely. Should it be keyworded too, though? Yeah. Okay. Um, you need to be detailed in the summary profile. You need to add your work experience and history. I'm going to reveal a little secret here that most people ignore. Um, you need to add your skills and expertise. This section is, uh, most people don't do it. They're like, ah. <laughs> and this is your search engine juice, and so we're gonna touch on that. Uh, include your education details. That's just to make you complete, quite frankly, 
nobody really cares and unless you're going for a c-suite executive position um, that's when they care all right and more importantly then start connecting with others so i'm going to take you uh through this little journey here okay so um just that just me saying those seven things and um taking um actually my mastermind uh coaching members through this little drill um uh, I, I got this quick little post on my Facebook that said her tips got me a 333% increase in connection over the past seven days. So if what I'm about to teach you helps to improve your life, please remember to come back and post in my Facebook or something and say, oh my God, I just applied that little tip you told me and it was crazy um, or whatever happens. I also had another client last night uh, tell me that they got their first client on LinkedIn and they had never even attempted that before. So that's pretty fun. So you got to go uh, and take a look and use a professional photo. This is often the photo that I use. It's a branded meme. And what's great about most of the um, uh, platforms is it allows you to um, move. So I can get just my face in there and things of that nature, okay? And, and in situations where it'll take more, I like that because it tells people at a glance what it is that I'm doing, okay? So let's take a look at where does your photo appear and why it's so important. All right, so one of the places that your photo appears is in this sidebar, all right? So this sidebar, uh, comes up um, when people are in their own um, platform or in their own account, right? But here's something interesting. So let's say this is actually a, a shot from my uh, sidebar. But in general, I will scan quickly. And you'll see if I see something like this, this dark black thing, or and I'll talk about this later, if I see this, <laughs> the no man, <laughs> um, I kind of will go past it. And so if that's how your photo is appearing, um, you're not going to get attention from people you're physically reaching out to because when you reach out to somebody, this is what they see, okay, in their sidebar. And so you'll see here um, how it appears, see how it appears over on the, on the left in her profile. And, you know, maybe she's trying to be sultry, I don't know, but it's just not working. The black and white photo just isn't working in these small areas. And so you want to you wanna very much take uh, a note of, of how it's translating, all right? Because you only have this little brief second to impress. Oh, yeah, and she's a speaker's coach. So here's the other thing. As you go through this, right, I'll look at this and I'll go, if you can't set up your own profile properly, in the platform a speaker should be, then I'm not going to listen to you. you you've already lost all credibility and authority with me. Um, and this is why this is so key, because that's how you're getting judged in a microsecond. So your picture is really, really important. You'll also see this is how uh, LinkedIn um, promotes you. So there's a section as well that will say, hey, you should connect with these people. Well, when you pop up on somebody's radar because of the uh, connection, if you have this, which is the death knoll of the photo, and that is no photo, and they shove in this little, uh, little icon, <laughs> little faceless icon, right? I won't look at them at all. They're, they're dead to me. And so you want to make sure that you're not um, uh, encountering situations where you are dead to people. <laughs> okay, so that is the photo. LinkedIn profiles with photos get 21 times more views and 36 times more messages. So if for no other reason than that statistic, you need a good photo, all right? 